Hey everyone, it's Gary the Google Guy. I thought I'd let you in on a brand new update to Google Drive and this is going to be regarding your sync solutions. So you may have remembered from before that you had the option to download Drive and sync up your files from your hard drive to your cloud version of Drive. Now there's another addition here and actually the download Drive piece will be going away and you will be seeing another option of backup and sync. Now the newest feature is called Drive File Stream and they are a little bit different in terms of what you may be used to. Now with the Drive File Stream which is your brand new piece added to your syncing solution this is going to let you stream your my drive and team drive files directly from the cloud which in turn will free up disks space and network bandwidth it will also decrease sync time and minimize the amount of company data stored on users hard drives now you can also make your drive files available for offline access and those cached files will sync back to the cloud when you're online so the latest version is always available on any of your devices no matter where you're accessing it from now the backup and sync piece is more for the consumer client but organizations can use it too the biggest difference here is that all of your drive content is stored locally on that hard drive as opposed to the drive file stream it's stored in the cloud but you can access them from both now Google has a great help sheet on choosing a solution I'm just gonna drag that into our screen here because I wanted to show you real quick and you can copy the URL if you've got time there and I'll leave that up for you to copy but with the choosing a sync solution what this will do is it will go and compare drive file stream and backup sync so you can make the appropriate selection for what functionality you need and like I said the backup sync is going to be stored locally drive file stream is in the cloud other amenities here is with drive file stream if you are utilizing team drives you can access those files offline and on demand as well backup and sync not so much and then down near the bottom half of this page it will give you some other differences that you may notice if you're already using a syncing solution so this is a great page and like I said I'm gonna leave that URL up there for a moment for you but you'll see here it's support.google.com backslash a backslash answer seven four nine one six three three and that'll take you right to this page to help you out there so what I'd like to do is I'd like to show you how this is actually going to work now we're gonna walk through the process of the downloading piece and syncing it up and showing you what you can do here and it's pretty simple to do first off your organization is gonna make sure that they need to turn on a syncing solution on for your organization once that has occurred in the upper right hand corner you'll go to your gear icon and you'll now see download drive file stream and mine is Windows because I am on a PC but it is also available for Mac you'll select that and it will open up a new tab and it's gonna go to a support page however don't panic what you're gonna do is you're gonna go down just a little bit to the middle of the screen you'll see the option for download for Windows or download for Mac you'll select on that and then it will download the appropriate file for you whether it is on Windows or your Mac you probably see that in your download bar at the bottom you'll click on that and then follow the on-screen instructions which basically is the simple install also on this page if you go near the bottom it will show you how to access it in terms of your system requirements as well as how to open and how to find and get your files so I'm gonna walk you through that so you have a little bit of a visual as opposed to just reading now once you have done this you're gonna probably go back to your drive screen you're gonna become working and you're not gonna notice a change to your screen here in Google Drive however if you go down to the bottom right corner of your screen and once again I'm on a PC you will see a new icon added here that is drive file stream you're gonna click on that and then up at the top you're gonna see two options you're gonna see a little folder and then you're gonna see these three little dots if you click the three little dots it's not gonna give you too much other than signing out of your account which it will prompt you for once you've loaded that install or you can quit and do other things there so the first thing I would recommend doing is going to your folder icon and selecting that 
It should pull up a box like a Windows Explorer box here for you to select whether you're liking to access your My Drive or your Team Drive files. So we'll just go to My Drive since that's what most of us would access. And then from here you should see all of your Google Drive files. Now what you can do is if you would like to go to a certain folder or a file you can double click on it and open it and access everything and it will open up with the appropriate program. Now I personally do not have Microsoft Office on this computer. If I did though I'd be able to open it up within Word here. Or what I can do is I can go to any of my files and right click and on that right click in the menu you should see drive file stream and then a pull side menu will come up and you can select to make that certain file or folder available offline and then once you've done that you'll be able to access those either way whether you're offline or online when you reestablish connection to the internet if you were working offline it would sync those changes up with those files or folders that you've made and then that way everybody that has access to those files whether it's just you or someone else like a coworker, will have immediate access to the most current version with those changes already added for you so I just wanted to show you how to activate that, how to work with it a little bit there. Like I said, it's going to look like a Windows Explorer type of a thing here, so you should be pretty comfortable to be able to organize and work with your files here. But you can get that offline access by going to a file or folder, right-clicking, and then selecting that available offline option. So it's a pretty simple setup. Didn't take me much more than a couple of minutes to do. Now I am all set to work with my Drive file stream. So that's the big update everyone. Just wanted to let you know about how that is going to get installed and work. Biggest thing you'll need to do is just make sure the organization will turn on your syncing solution options on for you. Until we meet again everyone, thank you very much and have a great rest of your day.